What's up guys? I feel like there's a lot of people that are complaining about some new cards that are going to be released here in our Paradox Rift set, which is coming out in November, uh, legal for Latin American International Championship. Um, so Paradox Rift coming out should be changing up the game a lot. This is the mechanics they showed off at the World Championships. And there are some people that are going crazy on social media about some of these cards. So I'm going to look at them for the first time and actually read them. I, I've seen some like hubbub here and there, but I haven't really had a chance to sit down and be like, what does this card actually do? Uh, because I've been just so all over the place. So today we're gonna look at them together and um, kind of do our analysis here on this channel. And if you guys are into that kind of competitive content, please like and subscribe, it would help out the channel a ton. That's all you gotta do, nothing else. Um, and yeah, let's jump right into it. So Iron Hands, guy looks goofy, he's a lightning type. If you play the video games, you see that there's new future and I think past tags are gonna be added. Uh, I guess maybe paradox is probably the right word. I don't know. I don't know what the keyword is. We'll get there. Oh, ancient. I see it here. Ancient and future are the keywords that are going to be added, like rapid strike and single strike. I assume they'll just have cards that cater to them. I'm sure it'll be more, uh, like, made more clear as we go deeper into this. But I assume they'll just have cards that are added, uh, like the tags that are added, uh, like rapid strike and single strike and fusion strike that we had a couple years ago, which I think is cool. I think it's good that there's, like, archetypal cards it just has to not be like as obvious as mu v max uh was i think so we've got big boy here um 230 hp for a basic pretty bulky lightning lightning call is 160 a lot of damage obviously fits well into things like maridon electric generator is a good card for it and then we have lightning triple colorless strength amplifier 120 if your opponent's active is knocked out by this attack you take one extra prize card uh, i know a lot of people are losing their minds over this because you can take out things like squawkabilly lugia um, and even uh, Luminian pretty easily, but there's not that many decks that actually play those cards. Um, so the, this card doesn't actually get that much value. Yeah, you can take an extra prize on a Comfy, but you're committing four energies onto the board to do this. And so the only decks that can reliably accelerate this much energy are things like Maridon, or you're playing like Chan Pao Backscalibur now with uh, Lightning Energies, or I guess Luminous Energies, I don't really know. Like. You, your your deck is just now significantly worse. So I don't know. This card doesn't actually seem that good to me. You guys can feel free to disagree with me in the comments. But like, I think this is like kind of mid, honestly. Like, sure, it might just like curb stomp LAIC. And if it does, uh, you guys can come back and tell me that I'm completely wrong and I'm an idiot. I'll take I'll take my lumps. No worries. Uh, we have Slitherwing as an ancient Pokemon. Uh, for fighting, trample, discard one card off the top of your opponent's deck. For two fightings, oh yeah, two fightings, billowing burn, 120, 90 to itself, and they're burned. That's a pretty bad effect. I think this card's terrible, um, all things said. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Slitherwing. We've got Sandy Shocks um, with the ability, with 220 HP, Ancient Pokemon. It's just Magneton's uh, Ancient form, it looks like. Uh, magnetic Attraction, this ability can be used once during your turn. If your opponent has four of your prize cards, attach. That's cool. You just accelerate a fighting. Um, and it doesn't say once per... Oh, it just says once per turn. So does it... Does that mean like once per Sandy Shocks or just like once in general? Um, that's actually huge because if you can use multiple Sandy, like if you put two Sandy Shocks into play and accelerate, accelerate, like you're just kind of ramping the game. And you just can do 200 vanilla is pretty insane actually. Um, and being able to like maybe like uh, just just heal the guy or um, pivot into different attackers, like maybe play Ting Lu or Glamora uh, could be really cool with Sandy Shocks uh, while you're setting up your board. I think this could be cool. I think this card could be really, really cool. Uh, 220 HP is unfortunately like very little, but we can kind of make it work, I guess. Iron Jugulus Future. Uh, three colorless horning heads, 50 for each of your opponent's uh, Pokemon that have damage on them. Good for spread decks, probably Lost Box, but three energy is a lot. Uh, ba Baryon, Baryon Beam for five colorless, uh, 150. If they have a future boosted capsule, cost three colorless instead. So you shortcut with the future boosted capsule, making it like a Three energy and two card combo, effectively. And here it is. I was going to say, I wonder what future boosted energy capsule is. Here it is. It's an item from the future. The future Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost, and the attacks it uses do 20 more damage to your opponent's active. So it's like a double plus power, and it's a float stone. So muscle band float stone combo in one. Seems pretty insane, only for future Pokemon. I guess that can work really, really well with our Iron, our iron Hands guy uh, for four, but I still don't think it's enough to make this guy better than mid. Ancient Boost Energy Capsule. There's an Ancient version as well. Um, the card this Pokemon is attached to gets plus 60 HP and recovers from all special conditions and can't be affected. Um, could be good down the line if there's special condition deck. 60 HP could make a difference. Uh, that's a lot of HP, but we'll see uh, as we go. 
Professor Sada's determination. Uh, ancient. Choose up to two ancient Pokemon. Attach one basic energy from your discard pile to each of them, and then draw three cards. That's pretty insane. But I guess not that insane with the ancient Pokemon we've seen so far. I guess down the line, whatever we see could change this, and I'll be like, wow, this is crazy. Like the game is broken. It's over. GG. Like go next. Um, go to the next card game. Not Lorcana. Their game sucks. Uh, Earth Vessel. Uh, ancient item. You might discard a card from your hand in order to use this attack or card. So check for the two basic. Put them in your hand. So. It looks like Ancient is more like Energy Acceleration, and um, Future is more like Healing and and Retreating, I think, are the cards. Um, future Turo Scenario, uh, it's a Future Supporter. Put one card in your hand, discard all cards, so it's just AZ. Um, and then you have Techno Radar, so Ben Ten's like little watch that he wears. Uh, search your deck for up to two Future Pokemon cards, reveal them, put them in your hand. That's pretty good, actually, because you can just go... It's, it's just Pokemon cards, so, uh, well, that's actually, like, is it, like, the actual Pokemon itself? Or are we talking, like, we're playing the game of Pokemon, so can we get any Pokemon? Like, does this mean I can go get, like, Turo's Scenario? Interesting. This card actually becomes mid to insane, depending on that answer. Uh, if it's insane, it's, if you can get, like, your, your boosted card, uh, your capsule, and, like, this, that's absolutely broken. So, obviously, let someone let me know. I, it kind of is ambiguous, because, I don't know. Feels like you get either one. Um, Mela, uh, you can play this card only if it was your Pokemon are knocked out. Attach one basic fire, and if you do, draw until you have six. That could be really good, obviously. Um, a, another energy acceleration card and a draw card in one. Uh, once we lose some of our power cards, acceleration will be good with cards like this. Uh, Tulip, put any combination of four psychic and basic psychic from your discard pile in hand. So it's just Nessa, but psychic type. Um, I guess with Gardevoir, like, will lose its pieces down the line, so Curlays and stuff. So Psychic types will become much less powerful. Uh, Psychic Embrace will still exist. It's just the pieces that you accelerate to are gone. And then you have the cards that were revealed at Worlds. Roaring Moon EX. Knock out your opponent's active as an Ancient. If you do, this takes 200 to itself. So a lot of damage on the return, but this card is probably very strong to just knock out the active. Calamity Storm. Discard a Stadium. If you do, it does 120 in, uh, in turn. Screamtail. Um... 20 to each of your Pokemon that has damage count already on it is the, is the important part of this. Uh, Brute Bonnet, Toxic Powder. If they have a Toxic, uh, or if they have an Ancient Capsule attached, you make both people poisoned. But I guess it removes your own special condition, so I guess that makes sense. And then you can Rampaging Hammer. Um, yeah, and so Brute Bonnet can just like add a plus 10 or plus 20 damage technically with Toxic Powder through each turn, which is cool. Uh, and there's a Brute Bonnet Alt Art. Iron Valiant is the future Pokemon that has Tachyon Bits. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to your active spot, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And then you have Laser Blade, uh, which 200. So basically you have uh, a free ping for 20 if you start moving around. Uh, and then you have Iron Moth, which just moves energy to it when you move into the active. And you can use Heat Ray for 120, but 120 is like so little damage. It doesn't actually do anything. And here's the Alt Art Iron Moth. And then you have Iron Bundle, the penguin with a with a metal head. Once you return, if your Pokemon's your bench, you may switch out with your opponent's active um, to your bench if you do. Discard this card. So basically, you have a Guzma. Oh no, 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 reverse Guzma. You just force it out of the active, so you can basically rope them and discard this card. So it's like a it's like a usable rope, and the attack is like kind of irrelevant. So that's that's the first set of the ancient Pokemon. Uh, cards that we see here. I don't think I don't think this breaks the game. I think it's like still going to be fine. I think people are just over like complaining. We'll see. People always complain. And then here's some more of the cards that people were complaining about. I don't think Chi Wo Chien that attaches to grass and does 140 is a complaining card. I think Chi Yu does the same thing. And then Jealous Fire is 50 plus 90 if a Pokemon was knocked out last turn. That one could be actually interesting because Revenge has always been a good attack. 140 might be a little bit too little in terms of damage, but it could be strong. And then Champ has the same first attack, Snow Gathering. And then Wrathblade, 130, discard 2. Could be interesting to put into actual Champab Excalibur as a one prize attacker that offsets the prize trade, but I don't know if that damage is enough. And then you have Ting Lu that does 220, uh, and then you have to have four damage counters on it. So all four of these are pretty, pretty absolutely terrible, actually. Um, and here's where people were losing their minds. Technical Machine, Devolution. Attach this Pokemon card to one Pokemon in play. You may devolve all of your opponent's evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage into their hands. I mean, ATM Rock was a card for a while, and I don't think it was very good back then. I guess now you have Sableye and other ways to do stuff, so maybe this card is insane, but I don't necessarily think it's, like, that broken. I think it's okay. Like, I think it's fine. Um, just don't play Evolutions, I guess. Just play, like, big basics and beat people's face in. Like, that just seems better. Um, and then you have Technical Machine, Evolution, 
which says two of your bench Pokemon, search your deck from those and evolve them. So basically, like, this is, like, going to be better against evolved cards and this is going to help you evolve. But I think, obviously, with the power creep going in a way, big basics might not be nearly as um, popular. So here's the art for the set. Um, and that being said, thank you guys for watching. Here are some of the new cards. I don't think... I don't think these are too crazy, honestly. I think you guys are overreacting. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And until next time, peace out, guys.